How's it going, everybody? Today we're gonna be playing a little bit of Ares. No god will question my power. I also have the tier five, which is awesome. We're against Baron. Ooh, I was just about to say, I hope we're against a physical god, and we're up against a magical god. Ares does better against physical gods because of Emperor's armor and tyrannical, but that's okay. That is a lot of stars. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not like this is one of Ares' worst matchups. Surely not. Uh, we go Bumba's Hammer, but quite honestly, I don't think that's going to work in the late game. Um, we could try going Gem. Maybe Vampiric Shroud. Maybe a Sacrificial Shroud. Ooh. Actually, we're going to rush Spear of the Mages. This will aid me in battle. Okay, why rushing Spear of the Mages is kind of a good idea is because... Oh, well, Spear of the Mages chains, you know, pretty obvious. Increased damage on everything. But uh, Sacrificial Shroud... I'm pretty sure this is how it works, but Ares 1, when you use the chain, the first one counts as a different ability, and then after all that, it's the same ability. So usually it can only proc things like Soul Reaver once. I'm pretty sure. I'm not, I'm not, uh, last time I tested it, which was a long, long time ago. But uh, with Sacrificial Shroud, I assume, I guess, I guess I should have tested it, but I assume the way it works is that you know, all of it counts the same ability, which means I get the increased 15% damage on all three chains, but I only lose 5% health from the one chain, uh, from, or from the three chains, which is pretty awesome. So I kind of want to try Sacrificial Shroud Ares. Uh, Bumbus Hammer, I would love to go, but I think that's more for against melee gods, because I'm really not going to be landing that many chains. Oh. Uh, I was about to say, not that many chains on... Or not that many autos, but... Uh, chains as well <laughs> getting all my words mixed up oh also i wanted to say uh i appreciate all the you guys letting me know how long you guys have been playing my i think it seems like most people watching my channel have been playing for like uh at least like four years or so and then there's also a lot of new players so it's a combination of both which is kind of cool to see i'm actually getting a little bit of lag spikes right now which is okay does he have beats he does One thing with Ares that I didn't know when I first played him was uh, the chains do not stack in damage, which is why you want to wait until as long as possible before using another one. I might be able to kill him here. Nah, I can't kill him. In fact, I'm the one that's dying. Ooh. Okay, do we stay? Do we stay? Craziness with the Vampiric Shroud? Yeah, the early game Vampiric Shroud. I mainly want it for the late. Oh, I'm taking so much minion damage. That was terrible. I didn't think I would take so much minion damage. Wow. The 638 bow. Although the bow damage was from earlier. Also, what is this? Wording Sigil? Yeah, that's also why I'm taking a bunch of damage. When I shouldn't be, that's okay. Uh, but yeah, no, Ares definitely prefer when I'm fighting melee gods. Uh, unfortunately, you can't really control melee and physical gods, but you can't control who you're up against in Smite. You know, sometimes you gotta accept it. Okay, well, he's out of mana, so he's gonna take years to clear that wave. Uh, but yeah, no, I appreciate all the comments of you guys letting me know how long you've been playing Smite. Gives me a good insight. Uh, really appreciate it. And with that, I think I am gonna make some guides, and I'm gonna target them for, like, I think I'll start them off like just going over the gods kit, but they'll be time stamped so that if you're like, okay, I know this god, then you could just skip to like the halfway point where it's like my opinions on what you should be doing in the god. And obviously, when I make a guide, it's not the say all be all. It's just how I play the god or whatever. Like right now, we're doing not doing too hot on Ares, but I mean, let's say I make a humor guide. I feel like I feel like I could have some pretty good insight. Oh, like. You know what? I was going to rush Spear the Mages, and I think it's still worth getting. But this guy's Baron Samidi, which already has a lot of healing, and he went Soul Gem for his item. Am I going to let that happen? Am I going to let him finish that Soul Gem without getting Anti Heal? No. No, I, I want Anti Heal. I want all the Anti Heal. <laughs> He's just ignoring me. That's so funny. Yeah, I don't do enough damage quite yet. Ooh! 
That was scary. We got him. <laughs> that was scary. That was scary, man. If we got a little bit too close, we could have died there. Yeah, no, the Vampiric... Uh, I'm trying different starts in Ares. The Vampiric doesn't seem great in the early. Uh, I just I just think with the Sacrificial, it'll be amazing. Like, I mean, like, when I use it, like, here, I do get one proc on each minion. And when I chain the minions as well, you know, it's, it's, it's something. But, you know, I, I like trying different things. Different things is fun. Uh, for defense, we are going to go either Pestilence or Void. I think Pestilence, just because Baron has a lot of healing and it gives 20 more defense. Plus, it gives me 30 power because of Ares passive. Ares passive is uh, the more... For each aura item you have, you get 30 power, I believe it is, right? Yeah, 30 additional magical power. So, not... it's It's never been amazing in duel, but lately, there's actually a lot of aura items, which is super cool. Alright. Yeah, right now we're, we're pretty even. We want to keep it that way. Oh, a little bit more lag. That's okay. Yeah, I'm going to be trying to get through all the requests you guys have been leaving the comments. Um, I'm not doing them in any particular order. Just the ones I feel like, you know what I mean? But, uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll try to get to them. But just know if, if you do mention, hey, I want to see you play a certain god, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be keeping it in mind. Although it might take some time. But we're lagging hard. In fact, lag just helped me with that ability. Wow, he is tanky. And he only has tier 1 defense. He's tankier than I. Oh, I missed. This is very bad. This is very bad. This is very bad. Yeah, we run here. We don't even turn around. Okay. Yeah, I might, I might even recall. Our 2 does give HP 5, but uh, no, we, we can't fight this. He's just too tanky. Alright, let's keep going. Your middle tower is under attack. Yeah, one th like I said earlier, I do think Bumba's is better on Ares, but against Baron, like, how many auto attacks have we even landed this game? You know what I mean? Like, even late game and early game, you're just never going to be landing autos against Baron because you're constantly having to juke abilities. To we can't get his beads here. Maybe kill him. He almost hit me with the snake. There we go! <laughs> that was so fun. <laughs> we're both tippy-toeing, trying to bait each other. Because he wanted me to go into towers so he could root me. And I would just die because I had nothing to up against it. But I wanted him to throw his root and miss it so I could kill him. So once I hit that chain, we were golden. Nice. We also get a lot of damage on this tower. And I can't stay because I have uh, Chow sticking. Also using my two, so the minions are tankier. And we do get this tower. Amazing. I'm gonna place this ward in the middle of lane so I can know if he follows me. Uh, if, for me to go to buff. I'm pretty sure this is down. I'm gonna go for speed. We're just gonna get the timer. Yeah, he took that a while ago. He did get Genji's. Genji's is fine. Uh, he's got a lot of cooldown though, which kind of scares me. Ooh, he's gonna get my tower. That's okay. Uh, I, when I'm playing Ares against a physical god and I get Emperor's Armor, I do everything in my power to keep that tower alive. But since that's not the case this game, it really doesn't matter if he takes this. Uh, if anything, we can try to make it so that he actually takes a lot of damage for taking it. Uh-oh. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad. <gasps> you missed. He used it too early. Oh, he got Sunder, man. Sunder. I think we need Aegis. All right, now I'm gonna work towards the Spear of the Mages. Yeah, we're gonna get Aegis so we can walk into his ultimate, or Beads so that we can just Beads out of it, you know? I think either or is good. Okay. His Beads are down, keep that in mind, or they should be. I'm pretty sure they are. Oh, I missed. I should have waited on my for a little bit longer. 
from my uh, ultimate. Ah, man, I can't believe I missed that chain. Yeah, if I waited like a second on my ultimate, I could have guaranteed the chains. Big mistake for me. And I can't even chain him. Wow. Yeah, we we need we should get cooldown. Whether it be a Kronos pennant or something of the sort. It would really help out. Because, I mean, with Ares, if you miss your chains, it's really bad. So having cooldown can uh, lower the risk, I suppose. And, you know, I mean, yeah, I'm missing a lot of chains. But it's a hard ability to hit. And quite frankly, it's an easy ability to juke. But I, I should be hitting more. I should be hitting more. It's a little bit of both. It's one of those things where if you're coaching an Ares play, a player, you just tell them, hey, just hit your chains. And if you're coaching someone against the Ares, you're like, hey, just dodge the chains. They're easy to dodge. It's like, okay, I guess. I don't think I need to Aegis this. I think we're fine. I need the beads if he hits me with the snake. We're good. We're good. Yeah, no reason to use beads if we don't have to. Uh, we have been saving them, but I mean, for the most part, we're good right now. It's not like I had an opportunity to try and kill him or anything like that. Okay, he does have his beads up this time. Ooh, but I'm not even close enough. Did, what? Did that? I missed that? Really? Come on. Come on. Yeah, I need cooldown, man. Come on. These chains, they're hurting my soul. I'm better than this. Come on. That's okay. It's all right. Currently, we're winning. That's what matters. Well, kind of. I mean, the gold is like neck and neck. Yeah, I mean, honestly, overall, it's neck and neck. Oh, uh, the Spear of the Magus is going to give us a ton of damage also. Looks like he's going to Chrono's Pennant. I think I'm going to go to Chrono's Pennant next item as well. Just having as much cooldown as possible. Really helpful. Especially because I can counter-alt his ult, which is really important. Okay, we're going to work towards a... Oh, I could have go Void, but I don't know... If that's what I want. Like, we could go void last item, you know what I mean? That could be good. Maybe something to think about. Uh, okay. I forget what this upgrades into, quite honestly. Warding Sigil? Because I almost never see it in Duel. Oh, we have the Tier 5. If you guys haven't seen the Tier 5 Ultimate in this skin, it's really cool. He's not even here. That was scary. Yeah, basically I uh I Aegis and he turned around so I couldn't just walk into his ultimate to end it. So then I had to ult to save myself. Okay, we're killing him with the spear of the mage's passive? Don't care by the that? Oh, we can't. We don't want to get rooted in Phoenix. We'll, we will die. Ah, oh, man. I really need that cooldown. He's gone away like three times because I don't get, have, the, have the cooldown. All right. Let's get out pretty soon. All right. I'm out of here. He doesn't have blink. Oh, wow. But he's actually chasing me. Oh, we're lagging. Oh, perfect time to lag. I love it. Thank you, Hi-Rez. Okay. Yeah, no, we're dead. I'm lagging like crazy. If I can juke the three... No, I'm dead. Oh, uh, he to me. Dude, I started lagging. I can't believe it. Plus, I hit the slow on him, but he was just still able to get near me. He's probably going to get Phoenix off that, which really sucks. Wait, is he not even going for Phoenix? I don't know why he's not going for Phoenix right now. Definitely should be. I think that was a mistake. That's all right. Oh, we can get Chrome Spin it up pretty soon. Let's get some boards too. Just to generally know where he is. After we finish Chrome's Pennant, I do want to try the Sacrificial Shroud. I do think it 
I, th I think it could be crazy on Ares. Uh, just the fact that I, yes, I lose 5% of my health, but then I do 15% more damage on top of my Spear of the Mages. I don't know. I, I really like the idea of it. I kind of wish Sacrificial Shroud had pen. I think that would make it a lot cooler. Let's pick up this blue buff. That'll help us as well. Give us some cooldown. How, many, how much magical protections does he have? 161. Well, he has more magical protections than me by a lot. Oh, that's because he got Wingblade, lol. So he has double defense, which means I need uh, penetration. Whether that be a Rod, Karen's coin, but I need like percent pen. Just waste his Sunder like that. That's always good. Especially since I missed my, my chains. Trading all for all isn't necessarily a bad thing. That wing blade is tough. Because he's just faster. Even if I don't hit him with the with the chain, he's just very fast. Damn this this mini wave's already just here. I'm out. Oh, he dove pretty far for that. Damn, he yeah, he dove really far for that. Alright, let's look at the pen items. I think Obsidian would not... Obsidian with my Sacrificial Shroud? Actually not a bad idea. I get 30% uh, damage on my chains. Ooh. Obviously, I can't damage minions and stuff like that. Otherwise, Obsidian, you know. But... I mean, look at Karen's coin. Karen's coin, I'm not going to get the stack. So what's better, 10% extra pen every now and then against someone with double defense or maybe getting a tiny bit of movement speed from Karen's coin if I get one kill? Because I can't imagine I get that many more kills. I forget what this upgrade's into. I should check. Um... Oh, I completely forgot what this did. Decreased damage taken by 4%. For 5 seconds. This can stack 3 times. He can reduce damage by 12% and he has double defense. Wowzers. We're going to get Void. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go double defense too. I need to be tanky. He has no penetration. This is how you counter these builds. He has no penetration. I do have penetration. And Void will give me even more pen. I My build should be better than his. Once it's all said and done. Good stuff. I don't know if I should actually fully commit to that. Yeah, Void, Void is the right choice, especially because of Ares passive. Oh, he's dead. He's super dead. Where is he? Dude, he is so tanky. Ooh, it's risky, 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 risky. And I killed him, but was it worth it? I mean, I think it's worth it. I think my build, once I'm done with my build, it's going to be better. And actually, uh, we're going to put the Sacrificial Shroud on hold. I think I need to complete double defense first just because of how tanky he is. <clears throat> Plus, it'll give me 10% pen. I think this is the better item to go than Sacrificial right now. I know I'm switching it up. Uh, as what I'm saying, but I mean, we have to adapt to the situation. He is just way too tanky right now. Plus, the tankier I am, I mean, he's, he's got no penetration. He, he's got none. He's not going to do that much damage to me once I finish this.
Uh, so yeah, this, this is how we counterbuild, you know? Like, if, if my opponent's gonna go bunch of defense, but they're not gonna get any pen, then hey, uh, I can do the same thing. Look at that, he's getting triple defense. Triple defense. Uh, in that case, I don't know if sacrificial is the right way to go. It might be. He's getting red buff right now, but he's super out of position without beads. Super out of position. Oh, I tried to steal it. Oh my lord, he's so tanky. Thank my two my three does do percent health damage. My three does do percent health damage, but look how much is being mitigated. Oh my goodness, yeah. No, I need this. I don't think sacrificial is a play. I think increasing my damage by 15% means nothing when my opponent has triple defense. So sorry you guys were shelving the sacrificial. It's mostly meant against a squishy build. Oh, and I am lacking like Look at this. It says I have 90, 85 ping. That's lying. It's lying to me. All right, penetration. Uh, I think Obsidian, Hell, Staff Mirrodin. Uh, ooh, pack bags? No. I think Obsidian. I think Obsidian, and then we actually need to sell something else for even more pen. Maybe. Maybe not. Like, worst case, we could sell Kronos Pennant. Uh... For something like Pythags. I mean, Pythags gives cooldown and pen. That might be better. It gives less cooldown, but sometimes sacrifices must be made to counter a build. Yeah, as it currently is, we're really not doing that much damage just because of the way his build is. Oh. Yeah, he's got like move his speed and everything. It's a very good Baron build. Just max, just literally go max defense because his base stats are so good. It's quite annoying, actually. Like, look at look at my health bar. We're just already poked out like crazy. so tanky I keep missing dude he's so he's wiggling he's wiggling around like a little worm all right yeah he's so he has so much HP I hit all three chains it's good that does no damage. The triple defense is insane. I'm dead. Unless? Unless? Once again, he does very, very little damage. And once we get Obsidian, by the way, our damage goes through the roof. Once we get Obsidian. I'm lag. I'm still lagging too. I almost want to chase him or cut him off. Almost. I mean, I don't know if it'll work out or not. He's he's out of position, big time. That's a big catch. Uh, I want that red buff, but I think pushing the wave is more important right now. Let's go. Let's go with our wave. We can always push the wave and then take red uh, if we, because that really doubt we can take Phoenix. Yeah, that was a really big catch. I'm glad I went around like that, so he didn't he didn't know what to do. He thought I wasn't chasing. He committed to something he shouldn't have. 16 seconds? No, I don't get Phoenix. Nah, I, I would maybe get barely anything. I'd rather have red buff for next fight. Yeah, I would have like a few seconds at Phoenix and look where the minion wave met. That'd be an awful place for the minion wave to meet in terms of trying to take that. All right, let's get obs Obsidian. And then we also get our power potion, which means we're at 30% cooldown. 
Uh, and we are also going to save for upgrading beads and ages because that is also our lifeline. Once again, our I mean, I think our build is a better build. We have a lot of pen. We have double defense against his no penetration build. And we have cooldown. I, I, just, I just think our build is better. I think he's trying to go a build that would work against most builds. Like if I went, if I built what I thought going into this game, what I was going to build, I think I would lose. Like if I went the sacrificial, I always can change my mind and switch it up for the sacrificial. Like I can always still buy that. It's always an option. That Sunder does make things complicated though. Did he just all? No, that was the sound of his other ability. I don't want to go into his tower. Not right now anyways. Oh. Yes! Oh, that was so good! Okay, minions. Minions, I need you to be strong. Be strong, minions. Be strong, because I barely have any mana. Oh my goodness, these brutes are so tanky because we're 25 minutes into this game. Look how many minions I have. Oh my lord, I've got an army. This is like the Roman Empire. Oh, my brutes. Oh, I hate this. Look at this bug, man. Look at this. Look, my brutes could, like, one-shot this phoenix. And they're not attacking. Uh, I can't stay. Most I can do is use my two with recall. So they're tanky. I should do a decent amount of damage. If I had mana, I think I would have stayed there. I'm also going to refresh my power potion. Amazing. That was so good. Yeah, we. Uh, he swapped his build for a soul reaver. Quite honestly, it does nothing. You got soul reaver, but you have no pen. Uh, it's not going to do much damage to me. Yes, I have health, but yeah, it's just, just not going to eat through my armor, especially with my two. My two gives uh, 40 protections, and I ha I'm going to have 220. Yeah, no. He needs to sell a defense item for penetration, and then if he does so, I can always sell defense for more power. But that obsidian makes the world of difference. Plus, now we have red potion. I have 672 power. He has 195. Like, it's big difference. Oh, he's over here. I kind of want my fire minions to stack up a little bit. Before trying anything crazy. I'm juking his three so well right now. Yeah, I could have waited on that. Could have waited on that ability. We have a lot of archers. I'm glad I st stacked them up. They're super tanky. I may not do a lot of damage to Titan, but my fire maiden sure as hell do. Uh, I could have hit that. I don't think he does enough damage here. And he has magical defense. These fire minions are killing him fast. All right, we're out. We're out. We got most of his titan there, which is amazing. It's really good. We're going to back up, oh, I think, most of the way. Yeah, that my fire minions are destroying him. Because, again, he has a lot of magical protection, not physical protection. And fire minions do a lot of damage. He may have a lot of health. I mean, like, I would love a soul reaver. But, again, soul reaver doesn't even give pen. And I mean, I think having Pen, like look how much damage my abilities are doing or how much is being mitigated. Pen is just more important. Could swap Divine Ruin now that he doesn't have Soul Gem. Uh, could swap it for a Rod of Tootie. In fact, I might do that. Uh, but also saving up for 3k pot is very important as well. Keeping our red buff. I think selling Divine for a Rod is not a bad idea. He's not healing that much anymore. Like, his 2 still heals him, but it doesn't even have the magic power scaling to heal him that much. I think just having more damage would be good. There we go. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. 
I feel like we're doing everything right in this game. He still has zero pen. You love to see it. He has a lot more power, though, just because of Soul Reaver, I guess. He has, he has two items that give power. <laughs> or that are like... Yeah, two items give power. Not only this, the Sigil gives 75 defense also. So, yeah, he's got quad defense. Oh, we do so much more damage with Rod. Plus, we have the, the anti-heal from Pestilence still. This Phoenix needs to die. This is very important that this Phoenix dies. I need to kill, keep him from clearing my wave. At least a little bit. Shoot, I can't go for Phoenix, otherwise he ults. Oh, man. It's okay. Yeah, I just was scared of him ulting, and then I didn't really have anything. I do now, because my bees are up. Oh, did he switch his build? Yeah, he has Rav 2D now. He sold a defense item. Did I miss? I did. Oh, we're very much in trouble right now. I kind of ulted and missed him, but I mean, I, I was going to get rooted, so I had no choice. Oh, man, no. How did I miss my chain through the wall there? That was a straight shot. Uh, he sold his quad defense. Okay. Think, think, think. What else can we do? I, it's amazing that he even does damage to me, quite frankly, if I'm being real with you guys. Uh, his soul reaver is actually doing damage now that he has more pen. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I still like what we have. I still like everything we have. It's just a real... It's a, I mean, I, like I said when we started this game, I prefer to fight uh, physical gods as Ares. Fighting magical gods kind of sucks as the later the game goes. I'm doing the best I can. I maybe should have sacrificed my life for Phoenix. That would have been worth it. But obviously, if he let's say I went there and then he ulted me and I couldn't even auto Phoenix, uh, it's like what do I do, right? It's like I can counter ult, but then I'm definitely not attacking Phoenix. I'm just bringing him towards me, and the entire time I'm taking damage from Phoenix, right? So that wouldn't have gone well. Once I got my beads up, maybe I could have just ran for it, but I didn't have minions at that point. So yeah, just running for Phoenix, I I don't know if that would have even went well. Damn, he's so fast right now. The speed buff. And he knows it. He knows he's fast. Don't want to fight him with this under. My god, dude! <laughs> My god! How does he do so much? We could sell Spirit Mages for Sacrificial, but I think that would be kind of crazy at this point. I didn't even hit my chain. I thought I did. Whoops. I'm still lagging about as well. You guys can see, kind of see the rubber banding. Let's not forget that this guy had like a hundred thousand stars on Baron. My god, GG's man. It's really hard to beat a quad defense Baron. He did sell the quad defense, but he still got triple defense. I feel like, I mean, I can't feel too bad. I did pretty good. This matchup's very, very, very not favorable for Ares. I want to make that super clear. Very bad matchup for Ares. I gave it my best. I do think we had the better build. I do think we played good. I mean, it's kind of hard to hit chains on a Baron that's that fast with speed buff and wing blade. I don't feel too bad about the game. However, it's like, yeah, we still did lost. But uh, yeah, I, I want to get a game with Ares against Physical God. Those are generally better. Uh, the quad defense is rough, though. It's the type of thing where I think you put any Ares 
against this specific baron and he builds that and you're gonna have a rough time i mean it's like i kind of wish i had sunder or something i kind of got defensive relics but yeah what can you do right um anyways thank you guys for watching i appreciate and i'll see you guys next time i will try to get mary's game with against a physical god it goes way better uh way better i mean i shouldn't have even done that well quite frankly it shouldn't have been possible because aries is uh, pretty low on the tier list uh but yeah no uh it was a close game so ggs